On this episode of Estentatious, I'm going to prove that not all S10s are created equal. Alright, let's prove our theory here. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the toaster. Show you the door and the door handle here. Alright, as we can see, this door has a little drop down with a screw provision here. I happen to actually have a set of 91 through 94 door handles. This door actually has some metal that comes down here and it has a rib that all this sits on. Okay. Now let's go over to the 87 and see the difference. All right, this is the door handle space for the 87. If we look right here at the front, same thing, driver door that we were just on. There's a screw provision here. There's no drop and screw provision here. There's a hole back here, but you saw this come straight down on the other one. This is indented here. And even with these lined up, where they go in the door, these will not go in the holes. And you can see I've got the rods out of the way, folks. Uh, these are not going to mount in here no matter what you do. Okay? And no, it's not that I've got this bent out of the way or anything. This is exactly where it was. I'll even pull it forward for you guys a little bit. Okay, This will not mount in here. Upside down, right side up, no matter how I align it, it will not mount in here. So this handle does not fit this truck. So let's go ahead and pull up some stock photos and take a look at what all three S10 door handles look like. There were three significant features to the 1982 through 85 door handle that set it apart from any other year. So with the door panel off, you can definitely identify these. In fact, this is the only set of years that you can identify with the door panel on. So we're gonna use the bottom one here as the example. Take a look at the four different corners. See those screw provisions? 1982 through 1985 were the only years where the door panel bolted directly to the handle. So if you see the flat panel that has the screw holes where the door handle is, you know that's an 82 through 85. The next difference we have is chrome. 82 through 85 were the only years that we got chrome locks and handles. And the third difference, take a look on the left-hand side at the screw provision. Now there's one screw that holds these to the actual door itself. And on this one, it's about halfway down on the door handle. In 1986, we changed over to a completely different door panel on the S10. And in fact, on the square body S10, we would continue with the same door panel until the end of square body production. Sort of. I'll explain that later. Now on this one, we're still going to use the bottom as an example. Here we see that the screw provision is no longer at the halfway point. It has been moved down. Well, this is upside down, so that would be up on this one. But it was moved down at the front of the door handle assembly. Also, we no longer see the screw provisions in the corners. And we have black locks and handles. These are the major changes between the 82 and 85 and the 86 and up. Now I say up because the 91 through 94 have some minor differences and we'll explain those in the next segment. And here's our final piece, the 1991 through 1994. If you notice visually, the only real thing that you can notice right off the bat is the screw provision has been moved to the bottom. However, as I proved in the 87 Blazer, these won't even fit in the door handle mounting holes. So they are all different. Now, earlier I said all the door panels from 86 and up are basically the same. They are basically the same. Now, there's going to be different finishes for base models and Tahoes and maybe even leather upgrades. However, the main difference is the piece that inserts above, oh, over the door handle. For 86 through 90, they were kind of, had a little raised rib around them, and they swept up right at where they meet the dash. For a 91 and up, those are smooth with rounded edges on them. That's it. 
that's the only real visible difference you can see between the two. So final thoughts on S10 doors and the door handles. We saw proof that there are three different handles out there. And even though I don't have an 82 through 85 door, we saw that the 90 through 94 doesn't fit the 86 through 90. So we at least know there are differences there. And we know that there are two different screw provisions on the 86 through 90 and the 91 up. So uh, as we saw in the picture in the middle on the front, there is a third location available on 82 through 85s. So obviously you can just look at a door handle with the door panel off and tell what year range your door is from. And in fact, even if you go shopping for a door, if the door handle is missing, you know just by the screw locations what year range that door is for. So be very careful. Now, does it really matter that much on an 86 and up? I'm going to say yes. Okay. Uh, everybody head over to Hardcore Garage and watch the video from a few weeks ago where he put the power windows in. If you notice, he has 86 through 90 doors on his truck. And when he put the power window switches in, there was some interference and he had to do some cutting. Why was that, you ask? Remember, the 86 through 90 has that piece that sticks out along the bottom edge for the bolt hole, just like my 87, right? If he had had the 91 up doors, which I don't blame him for not changing the doors on that, trying to keep it an original truck. Uh, so definitely want to keep things the way they are. But I'm just saying, if you do those kinds of things, you're going to run into complications. And in fact, I'm going to run into the same complication that Johnny run into. Uh, I have the same PC has, and I have the same window switches. And when I go with the newer power window switches, they're not going to fit right. So I'm going to have to get in there and do some Dremel work myself. Uh, thankfully, this video, that video is already out there, so I know what to do. Uh, so guys, be careful when you're buying parts out there. Make sure everything matches. Thank you guys for watching Estentatious. Have a great week. Please like, subscribe, comment, share this with others. It's free. See you guys next time. So minor update. I looked at the video while editing and I noticed my door was bent. I bent it back into place and the handle will now fit. But there's still not a bolt hole for it. But I'm gonna take care of that because I don't wanna to have to run into problems breaking off the front tab for the mount. So when we assemble the doors, I'll show you guys how I'm gonna address that and make 91 through 94 handles work on an 86 through 90.